Scenes from Club Mead and this week's technical job fair. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on the tech fair in a moment. Also this week, the Education Center hosts a fair of their own. Baltimore school students visit Fort Mead and a look ahead to Sexual Abuse and Assault Prevention Month. These stories and more, but first, as we're recording this week's show on March 24th, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center is in the middle of the transition to MHS Genesis, the Department of Defense's online electronic health record system. In a recent community social, Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Maker emphasized that even after the transition, extra time is going to be needed to make sure records are input correctly. And so we're going to verify and make sure that all of your records and all of your patient accounting, where you're from, where unit you're assigned to if you're active duty, all of that is is um, is still processed and inputted correctly. The good news is on the back end of this, folks, all the troubles for my Air Force, my Marine Corps, my 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 Navy brothers and sisters out there, all the trouble you've had in the past with, hey, I'm, I'm being seen in Army base, but I'm an Air Force person. Oh, it's going to flatten the comms, if you will, communications across all of the services. And for those folks that are coming close to retiring, it's the same system that the VA is using. So now we're finally getting to that point locally, because we've done this across the majority of the rest of the Defense Health Agency, that we're going to be able to have that good communication and one-stop shop for all the records. Colonel Maker added that delays will also apply to the dental clinics as they transition as well. We'll keep you posted as the transition continues. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade Education Center recently celebrated the opening of the new Kuhn Hall Education and Resiliency Center. Earlier this month, the center staged its first big event since opening Kuhn Hall. The center hosted more than three dozen schools, universities, and education offices for an all-day education fair. The Education Center's Rodney Anderson says if you miss this one, there will be opportunities in the future. We plan to host one per year, one per year. And the reason we do one per year is because we work as a hub and we have one at each of the other locations. Uh, location. Fort Belvoir, Fort Meyer, and of course then we have here. I'm really happy to have everyone here. We have a really nice turnout. Uh, hopefully we are able to provide some good information for them. Uh, and then they can come back and come to our education center here on Coombe Hall and enroll into some classes. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's job fairs are held quarterly at Club Meet and are sponsored by MWR, the Transition Assistance Program, the Fleet and Family Support Center, and the Maryland Department of Labor. The Anne Arundel Workforce Development Corporation is also an event sponsor. The AAWDC is a nonprofit organization that connects local service members and employers. So yes, yeah, so we came together with Fort Meade to sign a memorandum of agreement to assist the population here at Fort Meade and to whether it was the transitioning service members, spouses, veterans, and even dependents because we have our programs go from youth to adults and to also help Fort Meade uh, fill some of those positions that they have that they're having a hard time filling here on base. One of AAWDC's programs, Military Career Connections, Bordeaux says takes up where the Transition Assistance Program leaves off. So they go to their TAP workshop and then they come to us. We develop what we call an individual employment plan. Fort Meade service members within 270 days of retirement or 180 days of separation. Spouses and veterans attached to Fort Meade are eligible to access the AAWDC services. For more information, go to www.aawdc.org. In a related story, we returned to Club Meet and the technical job fair. There was a tremendous turnout for the quarterly job fair. The turnout included a group of middle and high school students from Baltimore's Academy for College and Career Exploration. The students selected Fort Meade as the site of their career day field trip. Academy teacher Andres Abella says the trip exceeded expectations. The expectations were many. I guess they wanted to know about like what soldiers do, what do you do in the military, uh, how to shoot a gun, or things like that. I imagine that after the first part of the tour, they got a lot more than they were expecting. And I'm hoping that the information they got is um, in many ways conducive to not necessarily a military career, but the understanding that uh, if they are not taking their education seriously, um, they should. The students received career day briefings at McGill Training Center from several service members before ending their day at the job fair. In other news, April is Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month. Fort Meade Sexual Harassment and Assault Response and Prevention, or SHARP, office has a full slate of activities planned. These include the proclamation signing on April 3rd, the 704th is hosting a strikeout sexual assault event at the Fort Meade Lanes on the 14th, the annual Lapa Loop is scheduled for the 21st, and International Denim Day and the Denim Day Walk is on the 26th. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.